Twitch is one of the best champions for climbing and for solo queue in general. One of the best one-trick champs for ADC mains, I dare say, since he also works with AP, allowing you to fix an otherwise full AD team composition. However, the AD Twitch build is generally stronger, so you should play that whenever possible. And while lethal tempo is viable, I recommend press the attack for much more agency in the early game, making it easier to snowball and abuse the power of stealth mechanics. With this item build here, you kill anyone in the mid and late game, also not going above the attack speed cap. Jack's show for the late game is an amazing defensive item, because Twitch's passive keeps you in combat and the armor and magic resist that you get as a result prevent opponents from one-shotting you. The playstyle is very tough to deal with for the enemy, and this should already allow you to climb, but if you are serious about your solo queue grind and want to reach high elo guaranteed, you can get a personal challenger coach with my sponsor Solo Queue Solution. Links in the description, and have fun with the video. Kalista and Rel have a crazy early game, but Twitch plus Leona is also quite strong. And if we're careful here... Okay, very good. So far. Or is it... Actually, we kind of, we kind of failed. <laughs> Not gonna lie. We'll see. This is why I love press the attack. You are actually able to fight back in these situations. But in general, we outscale them so hard, we don't need to do anything crazy. Even though... My Leona kind of wants to. Let's be careful. Yeah, she needs to base now, so I am kind of screwed because this wave is... Pushing against me. I lose the cannon, for example. But they're pushing, so I'm actually fine. I don't lose too much. And if I can stay in experience range, that's fine by me. Yeah, just keep proccing Taste of Blood on cooldown. Lost some CS, of course, because it's a 1v2 lane for now. But who cares? <laughs> You're playing the long game here. Proc Taste of Blood. Alright. The full HP Leona, we're definitely ready to do something. But on the other hand, there's no pressure. We can just sit here and farm. And if they engage, I can counter engage. Rock Taste of Blood. There we go. Watch the mana a little bit. We are slightly on the low end in terms of mana. Getting an auto in, kind of nice for mana because it triggers Presence of Mind. Kind of for free. Yeah, she's so dead. Letting Twitch stack poison and press the attack damage and everything is just crazy. She was definitely a little bit ballsy here and paid the price for it. Twitch might be a late game hyper carry, yet still he must not underestimate his power in the early game. We see... no we don't see the jungler cut, this is the mid laner, so we gotta be a little careful. Just in case of a random Kha'Zix. Now Rel returns with full health, full mana. So we need to pay extra attention. Help. Okay, I mean, it's better than nothing. Certainly not a good play by us. But also, I mean, it's a jungle gank after all. So, but yeah, the, the issue was that they had the full health rel returning and we still weren't positioning safely enough and then Kha'Zix punished. But it's fine. Do 
delaying her back timing. That's always nice. Okay, get the farm. Kalista will be in lane for or will be alone in lane for a little bit, so maybe we can use that to make a play. Or at least deny some CS. Ouch. Yeah, um, we better back off. Kha'Zix bot side, the wave's on the tower, I can get my health back by basing. Not the best base, because I can't really buy too much. Bam Scepter, probably the best purchase. Usually the component I get last, but um, upgrading Longsword to Bam Scepter is probably still better than just buying a singular dagger. Two to seven, top lane's inting, but the rest is fine. So okay, it's just the fact that Scion is inting, but he will still be useful, he's Scion. So nothing to worry about right now. <clears throat> and we have an, the amazing late game with Twitch, of course. Right, damage is damage. Rel wasn't watching. <laughs> now with ults, we can get a huge can get huge mileage off the next opening. Oh, we should probably follow Karthus. Okay, never mind. He's not invading our jungle for whatever reason. He's returning to his mid lane. But yeah, now with Vamp Scepter and everything. Taste of blood and stuff. We can trade a little more aggressively. I better make a run for it. One for one despite getting ganked. Not the worst thing ever. Make sure to base in this bullshit. I don't want to take any chances. Yeah, actually good for us, I would say. They used their jungler's time, yet still didn't gain a clear advantage. They just traded. <sighs> I mean, okay, they do get an advantage. The Callista gets to farm and I... Oh god, Leona. I'm almost there. If only our jungler would ever come. But yeah, lose another wave here. I have to base. I can't farm this. I can't 1v2 this with 200 health, obviously. Also, Karthus ults might happen soon, so you never want to stay around with that little health. Yeah, Leona's misplay cost me another wave or two. Kind of starving in terms of CS now, but um, at least I'm getting kills for compensation. It's not the worst thing ever, and especially once we get the shutdown on Darius. We can truly start pulling ahead. Scion manipulating the bounty system, of course. What else? But yeah, we have good components now. Getting closer to our first item. I don't mind. Leona level 6. Are we fine? You might be. Kazakh's perma ganking, and Leona falls for it. 
Again, we trade kills. Uh, I lose another wave. Callista gets ahead in farm, as you can see. So this is overall still a slight advantage for them, after all. Mm. But, I mean, we're still doing... Or we're still making the most of these situations. Getting a kill, at least, without dying. We both have a full blade. She hasn't ha she hasn't had the pleasure to upgrade her boots yet. Which is kind of odd. Callista wants to upgrade boots fast because her jumps are scaling with boots tier. Alright, Rel. That's a problem. I have to run. Yeah, Callista ult can save them too effectively. Can I kill them? <sighs> Only one. Rel was tankier than she looked, with her shield and everything. This game's getting out of hand. We're getting perma ganked bot lane. And top lane's hard losing. It's it's really wild. Come on, Leona. You can do it. If Yorick gets a kill here, then that's huge value. There we go. We lost the tower, but that was inevitable, looking at the game states. We have two huge shutdowns we need to collect soon. Get one more wave, then rotate. <clears throat> Make sure to not leave any minions on the table. We've lost too much farm already. Or not. We got the dragon, just get out of there. Yeah, nothing I can do there. If I ult heal, she still dies and she walks out of my ults. Can we kill Karthus? Yorick, are you interested? I'm not sure if I can solo him. Actually, pretty sure I can't. Can even take the, the next wave, it would crash. Man, this team. Okay. Bot lane did not go to waste fully. We should be able to make something happen mid lane. Get the Callista. There we go. Back to farming. Get the wave on the tower. That shutdown on Callista was huge. I could also rotate bot lane here if I really wanted to. Yeah, okay, I'd die for this, but that's fine. I still keep scaling. I got my full next item for this. Now, team fights are super easy. We just ult and AoE hit everyone, and hopefully that's enough to carry. Oh, and 9, Scion. Going for the Eclipse build without Ingenious Hunter. How <sighs> we say in German, not the smartest, not the brightest candle on the birthday cake. <laughs> Anyway, let's keep going strong. Darius is still worth a thousand. If we can kill him, then 
smooth sailing, I guess. Get him. There we go. Shut down for the mid laner, that's nice. Path is old on cooldown, so we don't need to worry about that for now. I do worry about his Qs. <laughs> Some life steal, hopefully. A clean ace, actually. After all that. Okay. We're getting there. We definitely are. Um, Katha spawns in 10. We better just recall. <clears throat> we go to base, wait for the BF sword, <coughs> and then take it from there. Yeah, once we hit our defensive items, we don't need to worry about too much about Karthus. Just Terminus plus the magic resist component will be quite nice. For the last item, maybe we even want additional lifesteal, like Shield Bow or something. Even though Hydra would be very strong. Drake and 50. Also something to keep in mind. Darius is still worth a shutdown. That's wild. Okay, I'm dead. Might as well do as much damage as possible. And hope for the best. He should die though, yep. Definitely worth. They get me, but at what cost? Look at this. We completely demolished them here with this play. Now we get Dragon 2. Perfect. Uh, Kha'Zix still has the potential to steal it. But it's unlikely. Okay, he's there. Careful. Sion generates a guaranteed advantage in the mid lane. Oh, please tell me you have smites. Okay. So far, so good. Sion dies again, but we don't even get the tower. Kinda unlucky. I mean, unlucky. He was, <laughs> he was just not... Um, Thinking this through correctly, I would say. Are the team fighting again? Let's see. There is no ghost. It's on cooldown. Doesn't look like a fight, so I can take the raptors. Keep the farm high <laughs> as much as we can. We lost so much farm in the lane phase. Can we? That was very awkward. I will die for this, but still we should kill them all here. Sound smashes in. Actually without Yorick. Okay, maybe that was a bad fight. Now that I think about it. Okay, never mind. Even without Yorick. But yeah, the, the fact I... I thought Leona just locks him down. I ult him from over the wall, but Leona's ult didn't connect. So he just walked out. So I had to flash over. That was so awkward. Got me in a very bad spot, but here we are now. It's a 3 for 3, it's not the worst thing ever. On my way. Oh, they overextended. Yorick kills them now. Perfect. Okay, so ultimately still in our favor because they're dumb. <laughs> Which happens in low lobbies all the time. People overextending, people making mistakes like these that you can punish. Oh, 
Now he's just dead. All you can do that is choose to whom to give the or whom to give the kill to. I'm so close to terminus. This wave's a little bit greedy, but the upside is huge, and Leona is nearby, so I'm not too worried. Missing every single CS. Okay, here we are now. <clears throat> we get our item. Huge for damage and for survivability. Perfect. And yeah, the thousand gold shutdown that came to our mid laner actually goes a long way. We fully enabled our team with our plays. I'm ready to fight. I have ults, I have everything I need. No flash, but if I position well, it shouldn't matter. Stealth is such a nice positioning tool. Okay, we actually go for this full. Yeah, more than enough magic resist thanks to Terminus to survive that ulti. That was a nice engage. I didn't even plan for this to... Oh, you're just so good, Baron. Didn't even plan for this to be a full-fledged fight. I just wanted to poke down Karthus a little bit and then disengage because he didn't see me coming from stealth. But then Leona with a nice follow-up. I take it for sure. This is so greedy. <laughs> I'm definitely backing off here. Actually, it's kind of close. Armor would also be nice, but we can evade um, their physical damage. We cannot dodge Karthus ult, so the magic resist component is still more important, I think. Get him. Get him, team. Oh no. Taking one for the team here, so Hawaii lives, but uh, probably still a mistake. I shouldn't have. I kind of panicked so, uh, seeing the Darius flank. That might cost us the. I mean, it doesn't really cost us. Callista also died, and Leon. I'm uh, not. Rel is dead. Darius is low, so ultimately, yeah, I, I took one for the team. It's fine, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this leads to good stuff for us. Uh, I could have also let Hui die, join the rest of the team, and be the hero myself. But keeping the morale of the team high is also quite valuable, isn't it? Mm, I could sell Doran's for chain vests. But I think it's, it's never correct. You just sit on your gold until you reach the full item. You have plenty of stats. You can kill anyone. You should survive most things that aren't involving Kha'Zix jumping on you. So yeah, I'm okay with the situation here. What can you take in their jungle? Uh, never mind. Maybe worth? He might die. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's worth my flash for sure. Leandri kills me. Wait, he doesn't have Leandri. Okay, never mind. Also doesn't have ulti. We know that for a fact. Is lifesteal strong enough for this? I better get the wave for lifesteal. It's safer. Yeah, lifesteal would have been strong enough for Gromp. Still is.
Okay, we can farm a little. We don't want to fight here. We don't have ulti. We are not high on HP. And farming for our tank item goes a long way. Alright, <clears throat> just keep going. We can also get this camp to sell Dorans for the item. Would be possible. But back to full we go. Lifesteal OP. <laughs> and ult is back up too, so... Okay, never mind. Leona got away. But Kha'Zix doesn't get away. Yeah, we're slowly taking over. Our scaling also starting to show. As a team. Also, the Twitch versus Callista difference is massive now. Twitch is so much stronger at this point. It's not even remotely close. He's dead too. Yeah, yeah, this, this Yorick's also taking over. Get him. Get him, my friends. Yeah, there we go. Do all the damage. And this ultimate does nothing. Nice shield, though. From Leona. Now their base starts to fall. Here we go. Get away from Carthus passive. Yeah, take their towers, take their inhibitors. Towers win games, after all. Ah, oh, this looks greedy. We could reset one more time for a safer game. Oh, please go. I might die here, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Kind of unsafe, but they're fighting too much and neglecting their base, so we still win, which is fine by me. So let's uh, go next. All right, Drave and Senna are of course quite threatening, but with Seraphine, I think we can even look for fights if she finds good openings. Got all the minions here. Um, okay, that was a bad trade for them, to be honest. <laughs> Anyway, we need to be careful. They hit level 2 before we do, I think. <clears throat> Just looking at the general wave state right now. Or do they? They don't. Okay, perfect. But Seraphine... Yeah, okay, no, no. Everything's alright. Uh, we could try to pressure them here. Okay, they're level 2 as well. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, in general, we outscale Draven so hard. That we don't have any obligation to win lane... We just must not lose lane, and then we're fine. For that, I should definitely place a ward. Nunu with Dark Harvest, he will definitely gank. I misplayed a little bit. Could have got an extra auto in. That would have killed him. But here we are now. So, still an advantage for us because they're kind of stuck. We need to deal with Seraphine Poke. Get the poison ticking for Taste of Blood plus Presence of Mind. Oh, he wasn't in E range. Unlucky. Anyway, we keep up the pressure here. Draven getting pressured out of lane. Isn't that funny? Nunu is coming, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm definitely backing off. <clears throat> okay, he just curved around. Sure. However, important to keep an eye on the minimap for this very reason. Nunu might come.
Okay. Easy escape with stealth. Draven backed off, so we can base as well. He lost CS, so it's a small advantage for us. He will be back in lane very soon, though. So we gotta match the tempo. Obviously. And we can spend all our money on boots plus double longs or Double longs or double dagger. Uh, Longswords would be nice, but dagger on Twitch. I mean, t Twitch loves attack speed. No surprise there. <coughs> Draven with boots plus longsword, in fact. Also not a bad purchase for him, but I think we have a little bit better combat stats now. Anyway, we de certainly also have an experience advantage, which is important. <laughs> but first things first, this wave will crash. We will try and farm this under tower. Hopefully without dying. Okay. Careful. So, under tower, Nunu ha not, does not really have any room to gank us. Okay. Alright, so still up in CS, another wave reset, and now we can try to trade favorably again. Level 5, Draven's still level 4. We might look for a play now. With that level advantage. Hmm. But they're playing this very safe here, which is fine. But Draven is acquiring more and more stacks. So we gotta be careful. Ideally, we get a gank soon, but Yorick is currently topside. Busy with the void grabs, which is fine. Don't get me wrong. But Draven is typically a lane you would want to gank for either side, because of his passive. Huge engage. I flashed pointlessly, but I mean... We still get a double, so I could have saved my flash, of course, had I played this a little less hectic. But I'm still completely happy with the double kill, don't get me wrong. <laughs> so double kill for Seraphine, but who cares, Draven's off the map, Draven lost passive stacks. And I get a clean reset here. This is under tower, don't worry. Definitely under tower enough. And we get boots. So we could wait 10 seconds for pickaxe, which might even be worth it. <clears throat> yeah, this, the melees keep wandering under tower. It's fine. Perfect. Alright. Now we are extremely strong. Didn't get the kills, but we still triggered treasure hunter and everything, so item acceleration <coughs> still happens. Draven with Dirk, also quite strong, but we are definitely stronger. Boots upgrade plus all these components. And we're level 6 now. At least I am. Seraphine isn't. But still. Huge power spike. We see Nunu. I'll just use it to thin out the wave. They can't fight us right now, as you can see. Even in that wave, which looks iffy always, but level 6 versus level 5 is such a big difference. Alright, Seraphine. Trading flashes. Okay, let me get some platings here. Because what are they gonna do? Oh, 
Oh, that's so risky. If she gets ultoed by Draven too much while she's low, she might just die. Don't want that to happen, of course. Um, we have good vision in the river for now. But I also want to ward the tribush. Let's do it. Let's do it. He's alone. He is completely alone. In a second. Not enough, huh? He gets to live. Unlucky. Had Seraphine been in position for just one auto attack or something, we could have killed him. Man. Still an advantage because he needs to base. Well, we get the wave under tower. And he misses farm for this. We get platings. So even though you don't get a kill, you don't need to get a kill. Just getting them off the map is already quite valuable. I mean, look at this. Get the plating, get the recall. Okay, can't recall here. <clears throat> but I can recall here, in stealth. Or... No, we spent as much gold as possible. Might even get another longsword, why not? I want to be powerful right now. <clears throat> if we're very unlucky, this delays our Blade of the Ruined King, but... This also already works towards the second item. And I'm fairly confident that we can keep snowballing and the extra dagger just makes it easier. Dealing more damage. Hmm. Didn't find an opening there. There we go. Just keep walking up, autoing. Do as much damage as you can while you stay in range, and only when they get out of range you press E. E animation is quite long, as long as an auto attack animation, so don't want to waste time there. So I, in fact, do not get my blade now, but it's fine. We're still massively ahead. I can, can just buy this. I, if I really wanted to, I could sell the dagger to get the blade, but I don't think it's necessary. We want to accelerate our build as much as possible, while also being as strong as we can. So, ultimately this dagger purchase did not work out in the sense of that we do delay our power spike, but we had a fight with it and we won the fight with it, so the dagger still had enormous value. <coughs> don't be fooled. <laughs> Okay, get the wave. There we go. Where is Senna? There she is. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Alright, don't want to walk up too much. Also want to keep an eye out for Nunu, potentially. Okay, we see Nunu in the mid lane, don't we? Get him. Could also have Eid there, but as long as you have the old auto attack range, it doesn't matter. Had Seraphine not landed her ult, I would have flash Eid to get the kill. There we go. We can fight him. 
No problem. Keep going, I have heal. Just stay safe. Okay, he escapes with flash and Senna ulti. I tried to help there. I healed Seraphine, I tried to bait, but this was a little too much. Anyway, we have a huge, huge power spike. Uh, Draven will get some damage on the tower now, but we have to reset. Look at our gold. It is way too much to pass on. <coughs> okay, and now we can just run away with the game. All the snowballing. Yeah, they might even take the tower, actually. Without the plating, it's so squishy. If I get there in time, I double kill them, but if I get there and the tower falls, it might be iffy. Yeah, it will likely fall. Or will it? Didn't farm here. Let's see if it's... Draven can always disengage, huh? Yeah, I shouldn't have. That was greedy. I should have just taken the farm and saved my ult for something better. Okay, get the play uh, get the minions. Way past river. Sure. And other lanes are also nice. We're currently winning on the entire map. Let's see if Draven is stupid enough to die here. I don't think so. He's safe under tower. <clears throat> Red buff. Gone. I wouldn't mind chilling here and waiting for... ...them trying to... Yep. Beautiful. Again, didn't get the kill, but doesn't matter. We still snowball, we still get them off the map, stop them from acquiring resources. <laughs> well, missing Ghana minions. Yeah, I should farm more clean. It's unnecessary to miss all these minions, to be honest. Can I be there in time? Oh god, Raven's going wild, huh? Get him. Gets a 1v4. Out of position. Better to not do this. Okay, 10 seconds for stealth. When I get in position to kill them at Drake. Let's go. There we go. Beautiful. <clears throat> and Yone is uh, also dead here, I think. Didn't even get an assist. <laughs> Unlucky. However, we base now for the most important two item power spike. Runans plus Blade of the Ruined King. Super strong. Now in team fights, we just shred everyone. Yeah, if you give Twitch this much mileage in the early game, he will just run away with the rest of the game. Your team has destroyed a turret. Early game with Presti attack is super strong. Lots of agency in lane while still maintaining good scaling. <laughs> Zero CS for me. It's fine though. Shouldn't be too aggressive here. Now I have ult though, now I can kill them all actually. Ah, Cassandra traps me. If they're careless. There we go. 
Yeah, but uh, this is this is just so much pressure. Look at their base, not even 20 minutes in. They're getting crushed in into their inhibitors. Take the tower, take the next inhibitor. Keep snowballing that way. I still have heal if you really want to. So they protect that inhibitor, which is fine, I think. I could base... <coughs> yeah, I don't get the BF sword, which is kind of sad, but just getting this plus dagger is fine. We can then sit on the gold until we get the full terminus. Which is important, we don't want to die. If we die, we feed away a thousand gold, which might... Um, give them a chance to come back. But this is also the problem I have with Hubris and Draven. It doesn't. This item does nothing for him in this situation. He needs his crit to be somewhat useful, but he goes for a scaling item, which is a, a win more item, really. It does nothing here to help him win. And if he's winning already, Hubris is just overkill. So, terrible item on Draven, in my opinion. But people still love it for some reason. You could clearly see also how long E takes to cast. Much longer than an auto-attack animation at this point with that much attack speed. So only cast E when they're out of range, for sure. Going mid lane doesn't do anything, by the way. We should go to another lane. Okay, my ult for her flash. Kind of worth it, if you ask me. But really, we should just push bot lane. Get this inhibitor. I'll get the Draven, actually. He looks kind of lost here. There we go. Just get the entire map. Now we push top lane and win. That's the easiest way to finish the game. Just push in all three lanes. Which makes it impossible for them to defend. Oh god, I'm dead here, huh? Yeah, didn't respect the Nunu with the snowball. That was my mistake. I overcommitted. I pushed my luck. The gold goes to Nunu, though, who is terrible in the late game, so... No worries. Would the thousands go to Yone or Vega or even Draven or Senna would be much worse, but Nunu, who cares? AP Nunu is a gimmick, in my opinion. Unless you run into him, he doesn't do anything, really. Looks like we are running into him, though. But yeah, that's a, that's a general game plan here. Look at this. Everything pushed in. Now all we need to do is go top lane and finish. Or actually, Drake is spawning. Let's take Drake first. Take the free stuff, win the game. <coughs> After Dragon, we can then go top lane and finish. Just give them zero counter play if possible. And if we go top lane and they take Drake, that's something they can get that we must that we don't need to give them, you know? Alright, let's just start it. Um, it should be fast enough. You can pull it out a little bit if you want to. Would be wise, but Seraphine refuses. Okay. Gotta zone Nunu away if we have to. Yeah, just take the free stuff and by allowing, by not allowing Nunu to come closer, we ensure it's actually free. my way. Old autos outranging Nunu. Very important. <laughs> so we don't need to step into that ultimate. But yeah, now we just push top lane and win. That's the plan. Not the best CS this game, but... We still get everything done we need to get done. As you can see, they cannot defend these towers. But they also need to take care of their base, which is in shambles right now.
They will engage very soon. They have to. So we'll sit in the back and counter their engage with damage. Yep, there we go. Wasn't clean, but was good enough. And good enough is all you need to win. We can't go in there, though. Too little HP left to work with. Okay, kind of playing with their greed now, baiting them a little bit. Meanwhile, Cassante messes up their mid lane again. I have ults, so I can make a play from a safe distance. Wait for the Q. I die here, yeah, but I think it's fine. Cassante gets away, we get the inhibitor, we get pressure here. Um, I could have also just backed off, would have been okay too, but trading kills is not... It's also not optimal, but it's, it's also not bad. Um, against them, I'm actually more afraid of the magic damage, so we get um, the Negatron Cloak first. <clears throat> just so we have insurance against this burst and this burst, and he also deals partly magic damage. So yeah, let's go defensive. But now we should be very hard to, to, to actually kill. We get the resistances from Terminus, the Negatron Cloak. Uh, later on also, Jakshow, if we still struggle to finish. And we're kind of uncoordinated now, so... I don't know, with, a, with better teammates we would have already ended, but... It is what it is, huh? <laughs> anyway, I get red buff for the team and then we siege their remaining tower and hopefully end the game in style. Okay, we got their red buff, so I don't need to waste time here, I just joined the team instantly. Ultimate in 10 seconds. Vega are getting big, hmm? Yeah, we should really just push top lane, but the team refuses. So we just go towards the team and try to, you know, do stuff. Santa should lead the charge, but if he doesn't, then that's fine. I'll just leave him for now to go top lane because Yorick, oh no, no, um, Udir is there. Which means we can kill Yone and make progress. There we go. Yeah, top lane is all we need. It's the only remaining lane. Get some life steal back. Yeah, yeah. They get nothing on the map here. I'm a little low though, so Vagar could kill me for sure. And Udyr won't let me lifesteal, will he? So I need to be careful, but, I mean, look at the siege with Baron buff and everything. Just take the towers, take the free stuff, win the game. Take this one too. Alright, now that the inhibitors are gone, we should have a, an easy finish. I'll walk the safe way, look for a fight with the team. Don't want to walk across Yone. Don't give him a chance to engage. Be careful of Yone ults, for sure. Okay, never mind. He just dies. And we can finish, finally. Okay, let's go next. Alright, with Emilio, we are playing more for Twitch's late game scaling properties. And we are facing Poke. She'll be fine. Milio's not bad into poke. I'm getting zoned right now. I can't even touch the wave. Okay, this Lux pays a price for that. I dodged into it. They had level 2 though. And we don't. Wow. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, that's super unfortunate. But we can definitely work with our runes here. Taste of Blood's gonna be crucial this lane. Alright, Melee should get a cannon for me. Okay, good enough. 12 to 10. We even out CS them for some reason. And Ash is kind of low. Which could come in handy. I lay down a W. Which <laughs> didn't land, unfortunately. I want to trigger my taste of blood. There we go. Okay, we got Ash's Ghost. Getting a summoner spell for essentially nothing. Perfect. Careful. I don't have mana. Melee wants to force a play here. I don't like it. Rengar on his way. <sighs> Unfortunate. I went in when I was too low. All in all, a very hectic and chaotic lane phase when you consider all we want is scale. Yeah, 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 kind of tragic. Double kill for the enemy team. And the wave is in their favor, I think. Yeah, it definitely is. We're losing farm now, and they can farm a huge wave. All in all, quite the terrible exchange. Melio trying to press the issue was not the call. Should not have done this. I have to push this wave under tower. I can't even leave right. If I leave right now, I just lose everything. Yeah, you can ping me all you want. I'm not forfeiting this wave. Okay. Especially in low elo, it's important to not get baited by potential trash pings by your team. I mute them here because uh, they're all a little bit edgy. Hmm. What am I even doing? I'm definitely on tilt, no denying that. But uh, I've had worse starts, and we have late game scaling en masse, so it shouldn't really... It's definitely still bad, but it shouldn't be neck breaking. Really finally reaching level 4. I need to play more carefully. They're creating way too much pressure. <clears throat> Down 11 CS now. Stopping Ash's base is kind of nice. Maybe she falls for this. She does. Insane. <laughs> Man, stealth catches people off guard all the time. It's unreal. 
It's been in the game for e for decades at this point. Yet still. <coughs> well, I take it. A very welcome surprise. Important shutdown, equalizing farm because Ash misses that entire wave. And now, with the shutdown gold, we're actually quite strong too. We can fight them. If we hit level 6, I mean, Ash is level 6 already, we don't want to fight with a level disadvantage, especially when it's ultimates versus no ultimates. Meteor's level 6 is going to be quite important too, because it cleanses their crowd control. Okay, I had 6, Melio is still 5. Melio still five. But so is Lux, but we need Melio's level six, just to be safe. Don't fight right now. Would be a big blunder. He ruins my minion. That's quite unlucky. Okay, he is level 6, Ash level 7. <laughs> okay, maybe we're still behind. Here it goes. Yeah, yeah. The dive, it's a little too much. Losing both summoners in the process too. Nasty mid lane dive. Immediately just died too quickly. Yeah, yeah, that's fine though. <coughs> we still have the scaling. Emilio didn't even R, by the way. He just died with his ultimates. Not too happy about that, if I'm honest. And he keeps ruining minions. So am I. Poor synergy between us. Anyway, let's go for a roam. Maybe we can repay the favor to mid lane. Let's see. Good one. It's melee or fine. I'm there. There we go. Massive. We even get our flash. The power of stealth in solo queue. And you always save E for when they flash out of your auto range. Because if you can auto, just auto. Right? Once they flash out, you strike with E. Get the minions. We actually got the dragon. Crazy. But I have to base. I have to get my items. I have so much gold to spend. No, waiting 10 seconds for a dagger is not worth it. I need to be in the action. <coughs> you can walk quite the distance in 10 seconds. 
I also have ultimates. If Ash makes a mistake here, she dies. Looks like she's finally respecting stealth though. They know I'm here when Meteor triggers support item anyway, so might as well. Okay, I'm looking for another Q. Get him. Or don't, I don't know. Meteor completely out of position, we can't fight. Come on, bro. Do it. You have ulti in a second. Ash lives. I could have healed, maybe. Maybe it would have made... Ooh, Ash doesn't live. Okay, so good thing I saved my heal. <laughs> but yeah, we constantly get dived by Zed. It's getting on my nerves. But it doesn't matter. We keep scaling. We're actually significantly stronger than they are now. Feeding that many kills to Twitch, always a bad idea. Yeah, map looks fine. We're in good position. LeBlanc's quite fed too. Ah, I shouldn't have upgraded Trinket yet. Was a bad call. <laughs> she actually died. <laughs> Your Presti attack twitch is so menacing. Such a great snowballing champion, especially in a non, uh, how do you say, coordinated play environment. When there's voice calm involved and people warn each other, then sure, stealth is easier to play around. But here, they just keep falling to it. It's unreal. Oh god. Actually, I don't mind roaming. Waves under tower, and we want to be the ones assassinating them, not vice versa. Get him. You're next, Ash, if you're not careful. <laughs> Man, this is so unfair. <laughs> I got tower here though. Because of minion aggro. Anyway, I'll just wait for my Q. Ah, Ash will not fall for it. She is not that dumb. Better choose this farm, keep your income high. Just go for it here. <laughs> Alright, it got the message across at least. Brother, what are you doing? She keeps running up to me like it's nothing. Lux on her way. I guess we recall. Get the most important three, uh, not three, two item core. Blade plus Runans. It's so, so strong in fights. <clears throat> yeah, now we look for a next victim. I mean, enemy team's getting crushed so hard that it's almost unlikely they will group for a team fight. but should that happen, we're well equipped to... Okay, never mind. Never mind. How can you team fight if they all just die? Oh, Ash, you're so dead. Alright, I can with my ult for that. 
Well, it gives you extra attack range, of course, so... Also a good tool to finish the, uh, the enemy off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the melee behind me, there's little chance he assassinates me. And the next items will give me more armor, so... This just, this just, uh... Will be the final nail in the coffin. 10 and 4 now. Unreal. I'll just push, to be honest. Good luck, Fiora. I really want to take this tower, but I think my Medio needs help. Yeah, just keep auto attacking. Man, I'm, I almost feel sorry for them. <sighs> I mean, we could stay, maybe. But that would be greedy. Just recall, get items, and get dragon. Yeah, safe and sound. <clears throat> no reason to overcomplicate this. We want to win in the end, right? Five hundred gold for my item. No art and sensor too. The Twitch dream. Twitch plus Enchanter in the late game. And we are entering the late game already. Yeah, no reason to chase into Fog of War. Oh god, I overstepped. Never mind, I didn't overstep. <laughs> For a second, I thought. But I guess it's better to just base. No reason to risk feeding away a shutdown here. Even though two of them are dead, I can base for my health and for my item. Offense and defense. Nice description. But yeah, all that bonus armor and magic resist. Mainly the armor will go a long way. I mean, okay, we have Gwen, so also the magic resist and Lux. <coughs> so yeah, you already know. But the first component of Jaksho will be Chain Vest here. Extra safe against Ash, Fiora, and Zed. I'll not push the issue. It's it's fine. Just one auto attack to send the message. Oh my. Stay close to the wall so she can't trigger her thing. I'll just attack this. There's no reason to go for a crazy dive. I could ult for extra auto range, but not necessary. Nice quadra, my friend. Can we finish? Lux spawns in four. Probably not. Just take their inhibitors though. Yeah, they respawn already. We can't finish. I 
I still have ults though. Ash spawns. Z spawns. Okay, maybe we can't finish. There we go. And yeah, yeah, we finished for sure. Ash wants to die, maybe. Okay, never mind. Let's go next. We had to leash, they didn't. Kinda sad. But we are with the Pike Support, which is a true all in kill lane. And where press the attack twitch can consequentially really shine. Huh. Kinda sad. Anyway, um, they will hit level 2 before we do. But that's fine, we just collect farm, then hit level 2 close to our tower. And take it from there. Yeah, the minions go down. Two more caster minions, so we have it. Can't get this one either, so okay, there we go. Now we can start playing the actual game. Look for pike hooks and good follow ups. Massive. Huge damage. Sad. <laughs> Would have been such a good engage. Anyway, we keep laying down poison to keep our runes ticking. Taste of blood and presence of mind, that is. Taste of blood's ready again, so we might. Yeah, I just throw down a W. It's Maokai. He might live. Come on, poison! Ah, just barely not enough, man. How lucky can you get? I'll just get him scared. Guess we just die. Wasted summoners too. Yeah, okay, perfect gank, perfect timing for them. And that's just all there is to it. Um, I'll get a recurve bow though. Kind of like them. Whereas dagger plus um, longsword would also have been nice. Pro I mean, now that I think about it, probably better. Dagger plus longsword. A little bit more damage on E because it scales with AD. But this is more damage in auto attacks, and magic damage is stronger. Because look at this, she has less magic resist than she has armor. Tough to say. Tough to say for sure. That's very good, that's easy to say. Get him. There we go. Beautiful engages. Press the attack twitch is so dangerous. I mean, in this case, any build or any rune would have worked. Senna got literally hooked on the tower. So yeah, we take those. Gonna push one more wave. Senna's on our way back, but we have to do this. Can't let them freeze the wave. Hmm, okay, never mind. They will freeze the wave. <coughs> At least they take damage for it. Not the worst thing ever, but we will lose farm as a consequence. Finish boots, get long sword. I like it. Boots on Twitch are immensely powerful. 
<coughs> so yeah, look at this. I mean, the minions kill the enemy minions, which means we can't farm them. Which is bad for us. I mean, logic. But uh, we had to get this back timing in. Can't complain too much after getting a double kill. Alright, Pike's also on his way. If they try to keep the freeze up, they will... Look at their health. Marokai lost half HP just for minion aggro. Yeah. Enemy not respecting stealth. Leading cause of death in solo queue. Man. Stealth is an absurdly powerful tool. <coughs> in any format that's not coordinated 5 versus 5 play with voice comms, stealth will reign supreme. Mark my words. Okay, the wave. We could even base again just for better items. And we will. An extra pickaxe goes a long way. This time they can't even freeze for some compensation, they just lose stuff. So when you press Q and then B, you will base in camouflage, which is why Maokai didn't see me there. But yeah, we're just snowballing out of control here. An all-in Twitch lane. Don't sleep on it. Despite Twitch being a late-game hyper-carry, he is very strong early. Especially with press the attack. Oh, Senna, not again. We lost farm for this, but man, did we deal damage. And how the lane er, continues from here will more than make up for this. Or will it? Okay, we messed up. They are level 6, we're not. Okay, that's a big blunder, actually. Brand will clean up, but I didn't pay attention to level power spikes. That's completely on me. Yeah. <coughs> that's how fast it can go. One mistake and you instantly pay the price. Ah. At the end of the day, League of Legends is all about playing with the enemy's greed. And here they played with our greed quite nicely. Credit where credit is due. Also, I've left a lot of farm on the table for all these fights. And I will keep doing it if it gives me kills. Which it won't here, so I better go farm. <laughs> By farm, I mean slow push. I want to make Senna bleed a little bit. Same situation as earlier, just the reverse. She misses farm now. Now we hold the, uh, the caster minions outside tower. Should be easy enough. Perfect. And Senna has to come, she has to overextend, open herself up to getting killed. Okay, I want to push this in, so we need to thin the, thin the wave out a little bit. Kind of failed. <laughs> I actually flashed these. I need my health. Alright. Not clean, but good enough. I don't dare walk into auto range. Auto plus Q might kill me with her passive. She might look for an ult to kill me. Yep. But I wasn't ready for it. Alright. We return with a full Blade of the Ruined King, and this is truly the tipping point. With Blade of the Ruined King, she can't do anything anymore. Right now she had a massive item advantage.
because we goofed around a little too much, but with Blade. Playtime's over. Alright, but I mean, looking at the map, mid lane getting crushed. Yeah, we're winning in all fronts. <clears throat> so, should be a very promising game here. But even if mid lane was more even, we are in such good position to carry. Twitch snowballs incredibly hard. Alright, slow push. Force them to overcommit. Yeah, the wave's pushing now anyway, so might as well get it cleanly under tower. Get a plating while we're at it. Hmm. Alright. I need I need to stop walking into these queues. Maokai's movement speed is outright scary. <laughs> Gotta respect. For sure. I shouldn't leave too much farm on the table. Just trying to get in position. Greeting for plays when in reality I should just be getting my CS. Not clean enough. This one, though. Oh god, Pike, where are you? Pike, help me! <laughs> what was he doing? <laughs> he was just chilling there. Ah. <sighs> It's okay, though. We get a kill with Pike's passive. That's never bad. Uh, it's okay. I don't like crit cloaks too much, personally, but... There's still a decent damage increase. <coughs> Man, that engage looked so nice, but all of a sudden I was 1v2. <laughs> Oh well, it happens. And we definitely outscale. Senna AD carry gets very little souls. Which greatly hurts her in the long run. Waves under tower. So it will definitely reset, no matter what they do. There we go. <laughs> Twitch feels so unfair. It's not like they're playing terribly or anything. We're, we're just... We're just abusing these stealth mechanics. In combination with all in power, it's outright oppressive, isn't it? We can keep pushing even. If we get this tower, I get my hurricane super fast. I think we might. Yeah, I have hurricane now. <laughs> Oh my god. No no no, I'm take I'm definitely taking this recall. 
I need this. You got this, mate. We have priority here, priority here. They can't challenge this dragon anyway. I don't need to be there. Yeah, already gone. By the time they're still clearing vision. Alright. <coughs> Let's see. Hmm. No one walks with it, so I just farm. Maybe I'm just dead. I tried. I tried, but I, I was a little bit too overconfident here. I deserve to die there. I'm... I mean... It's this psychological fallacy. You see the score, you think it's already won. Then you goof around all that, all, all, all much, all that much more. And here you are. Um, definitely my bad. And this is definitely a way to throw the game. So I should stop doing that. Looks good. My team's so fed, especially Aurelia. They just crushed them here. The smolder mid lane pick did not work out. <coughs> yeah, 8 and 0 legendary. Crazy. Kinda sad we couldn't be in this fight because of my own stupidity. But we can still help clean up their base. Come down hard on these towers. <coughs> this time we're playing it safe. Now we're treating the game like an actual game. Enough goofing around. I want to be in team fights. I want to carry. <coughs> and uh, we need to keep our farm high. We haven't been farming really at all. All fighting and dying, no farming. Time to change that. We just go in. <laughs> they just die in a heartbeat. No reason not to. Press R, take them all down. I mean, we only killed Ivern, but the rest of them had to retreat. Even though it was literally just the two of us. Clean. Yeah, they, they... I mean, they have no chance. They're way too far behind. Now take the tower. Take the free stuff, win the game, you know. Objectives win games, so just take them down. Top lane's next. When this branch does anything stupid. Okay. We're fine. Now all we need to do is push bot lane and win, really. Drake is also a nice call, but realistically, this is everything that's between us and victory. Okay, nice red buff for the team. Drake in 20. <laughs> that's enough time to go base, man. No reason to stick around. <coughs> so 
still 10 seconds. They will just take it. They don't need me. I can go farm wolves. Acquire more resources. But as I've said, realistically, Baron doesn't even matter. We just go bot lane and win. Unless they're on Baron right now, that'd be a 200 IQ play. Anyway, I just get more farm and push bot lane. Just want to win this game. So if my team comes bot lane, that'd be ideal. But they go top lane now, probably looking for Baron. Okay, they did do Baron. <laughs> Funnily enough. Yeah, no vision on the, in the Baron pits, and it was quite telegraphed we were doing Drake. But it shouldn't matter. We just crushed the next fight anyway. Sender looks dead. Okay, she gets to live. But the rest of them don't. Yeah, just push. They can't do anything even with Baron buff. Doesn't matter. Maokai is still dead, which is their most important source of crowd control. Meanwhile, Brand pummeling their base. Yeah, we just run them down here. They lose tower after tower. Yeah, it's completely over. Again, as you can see, Baron buff doesn't change anything here. But actually, they're still alive, technically speaking. We can't finish, but we can take this inhibitor now. Had Brand helped. This way I only take the tower. Okay, so the plan is to just base, get the items, and then push for the win. We've been messing around for too long now. Look at this, and looking at their team, we definitely want the armor component first. <coughs> they have very lim limited access to magic damage. So yeah. But Smolder in the late game would be able to do some damage, however, it doesn't matter. Look at their base, it's all in shambles. There's no way we lose this, right? Just cleanly push the base. Also, unless the next engage happens on me, I kill anyone who starts and the engage or gets the engaged started on them. Ignore the wave, even. Let's just take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just push. Are you ready? There we go, clean triple. And as I've said, I mean, with, with these items you just shred team fights. It doesn't matter. Yeah, and now we, we don't have a we don't have a wave. I just realized, but we still kill the tower. And they're still aced, so we should be able to finish here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Is set spawns in two. Nice, let's go next. Alright, versus Ezreal Bard. Um if we're lucky and Bard roams a lot. We might get good engages on Ezreal. 
but for the most part, we just try to farm it up, and that, that threw me off so hard, this bard from the bushes. Um, lost two minions because of it. Anyway, we will see how many engages we get. First things first, we need to farm. Twitch's scaling is amazing, after all. They had double two. We don't, because we had to leash and they didn't. Ah, it is what it is. I hate leashing with a passion, but... Uh, as long as it's widespread practice, junglers will tilt if you don't do it, and tilting your teammates is always bad. So we get E. Finally. Can use it a little bit for wave clear. So we don't have a huge wave crashing. Oh god, that was not necessary. Good hit. Uh, I don't mind using E, or not E, using W often here because it keeps poison ticking, keeps presence of mind ticking, so I won't run Oom um too soon. Well, they're close to the tower. I mean, Master Yi is a. They know Master Yi is a scaling jungler and not a ganking one, so they can freely push us in without worrying too much. Okay, we're even in CS. I like. You gotta be careful of the Bard stun. That hit? It curved around the minions, didn't it? Okay, Bard might be roaming. Senna already pinged missing. I better flash this. The magical journey gank. Ah, nasty. Gotta play very carefully now. We just play around our taste of blood cooldown. It's fine. But that gank gave them so much mileage. But the Taste of Blood, fortunately, is super easy to trigger. I think we're stable for now. Applying more Taste of Blood. Getting hit by more Qs. <laughs> But still almost even in CS, so not too bad. Ezreal is also completely out of mana. What's the worst that can happen? I still have heal. He doesn't have the resources to suddenly jump on me. Okay, the Bardic Knight did it. I did not respect that thoroughly enough, evidently. Oh well. But you play Twitch mainly. I mean, I pick Presti Attack because I like early agency if situations like... or if. if appropriate situations come up, but you play Twitch for the late game anyway, so while it is still bad to lose lane, it is not a death sentence on Twitch, whereas if you play Draven, most extreme example, and you lose lane, you're completely useless. Anyway, they got some good ganks in, and that's all that's to it, really. Team on Dragon, I just push this with W. Nice. Clean Drake. Wave being held. I don't mind. And damage is in fact damage. So... Ezreal on Sheen plus Tear. I kind of like our position. Boots on Twitch are very powerful. Ezreal also didn't even get the kill, so who cares? B 
decent damage considering Senna got caught here. Gotta be careful to get the CS. It's easier with attack speed, but without attack damage it's still kinda iffy. Wow. Very tough to get Kana minion without any AD. Okay, level 6, huge power spike. But we can't really engage while well, Ezreal has his jump. We need to play around that. Just apply some poisons to be a nuisance, also to trigger all those runes. The presence of mind, the taste of blood, everything. He's really playing kind of scared now. Bard might be not in lane with him. Alright. Free plating. And he's getting the void grabs. Sure. Also, my poison is enough to knock off or to trigger bone plating from Bard for what it's worth. I'll place in the far back here, because if Bard ults me in a meaningful way, I might die in the 1v2. So yeah, I just sit on the tower for now. Wait until Senna comes back. The impossible. Senna just ruining my minions outright. <laughs> Man, that's a little frustrating. Anyway, by roaming as real base, we need to push this. Okay, got the wave on the tower, Ezreal misses farm. So even though they got huge mileage out of that early gank, we're slightly ahead now. Yeah, I really like this purchase. The damage components first. <coughs> Bard stacking armor. I mean, stacking armor. He got a Warden's Mail. Which is still something to keep in mind in our lane composition. Alright, Ezreal. We'll see how greedy you are. But I'm also greedy for my minions, of course. I don't want to fully commit while the wave is under tower, including a cannon minion. Okay, we can probably engage here. There we go. Little lag spike. Didn't change anything though. Nice, clean engage. Uh, did we clear the cannon? No, what is it called? No cannon minion um, <laughs> control ward? We didn't. So we'll do that right now. It's real respawned, but I want to kill another wave. I want to get a vamp scepter here. He might try to ult me. Okay, never mind. Seriously, that's why I love Twitch. 
Stealth allows you to get, get away with so much, so many shenanigans. There we go. You never engage their greed for the takedown, or to, to, to try and get the kill yourself. If you die, it's just pure downside for very little payoff, so just run. Let them die to your teammates. Now, after getting a gank ourselves, we're firmly in the lead. I'll approach mid lane for the off chance. Malzahar is greedy. Okay, Azir teleports, so... I still go mid lane, I guess. Never mind. Azir has his wave. But it's fine. The roam cost me very little and had potentially quite the high upside. Get him. Alright. Back to laning we go, as we'll know full item. I have lifesteal now, plus taste of blood, so it doesn't matter too much. <coughs> Speaking of which, I should trigger taste of blood here. With my W. <sighs> really now. They're getting really bold. I want to... Oh, Senna's basing. Okay, I can't do anything with Senna's basing. I wanted to look for an engage with ult. Now that Ezreal also wasted his. I guess that's not happening. In the 1v2. Sure. Do your thing. I'm Twitch. I'm safe. I lose the wave for this, but now with Bard ulti on cooldown. Come on, Senna, heal me. Q me. Q. 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 Me. Q me now. Q me now. Buddy. Okay, then don't Q me and sit on full mana. What was that, Master Yi? <laughs> he just let Bard live. And takes my wave. At least Ezreal blundered and died, but that was such a bad play. Okay, Bart dies too, for what it's worth. You're looking very promising. Master E is so fed here. We get a tower. He might be dead again. Wow. How unlucky can you be? Well, I take it. We can get another wave then. At least most of it. <coughs> but I finally got to base. I have to get my item. Or do I? Maybe I just need to be there. Just be there and show presence. It might be important. Okay, push mid lane past river. I definitely want my item, but being on a map, or being there when your team starts, whatever, even if it's a little bit random, it, it's still important to be there. Even if the plays from your team are not the most sensical. Your 
All right, way past river. I have so much gold. I need to base now. I delayed my base timing enough already. Frozen Heart plus Boots. Yeah, this bard is low-key unkillable, isn't he? Anyway, my damage grows higher and higher. Almost at the ever-so-important two-item power spike. Just a thousand more gold. Your master Yi is just going crazy. There's no chill. Is he fine though? No. He gets a he gives a huge shutdown to Ezreal. <coughs> Rough. Okay. Probably more elegant solutions to this. I could have probably killed him without committing every cooldown under the under the sun, but uh, it was important to me to get this uh, get this kill. Huge progress now. Okay, I could farm chickens and then get my item. Sounds like a plan. It's a massive power spike. But realistically speaking, this game is already snowballed out of control. Even though Master Yif had away a shutdown, he's still too far ahead and too big of a threat for the enemy team. But now with this two item combo, should it give or should it come to honest team fights, which is unlikely at this point, but should it come to that, we can just shred them to pieces. We'll see though. Well, they're busy in the side lanes. I, I'm quite confident of playing pressure in the mid lane. Okay, not when Jarvan is defending. In this case, I roam. We'll see. Yeah, that's all right. Master Yi gets mid lane tower for this. Alright, Nasus Wither too strong. Um, yeah, we kind of got engaged on Master Yi lives though and might clean up. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. But even though this was definitely not the perfect position to engage, I didn't even have my stealth attack speed. And we still did so much damage as you saw. We have sword, perfect. But yeah, this Bard's giga tanky, Nasus super tanky. I mean, look at them. <clears throat> Without Terminus, we're not killing them anytime soon. Oh, bother. I hope he lives. By the way, this game is definitely a game in which I could see Quicksilver Sash being useful. Ultimate, Wither. So maybe we just go Quicksilver instead of Jack Show. And then Last Item Jack Show instead of Titanic. Okay, use his cooldowns. There we go. Don't get the kill, but doesn't matter. Again, the power of stealth in solo queue, it's yeah, it's unreal how little people are respecting this tool.
There we go. That's fine. I was hoping Ezreal might come, which he does now, but killing the tower is immediate upside. Might as well. Don't overcommit. And I'm dead! Being caught in the edge of Bard Ultimates, that's a little unlucky, but it's also whatever. I mean, Master Yi is soloing Baron. We're not even playing the game anymore. Master Yi just does his thing and we get to exist in his lobby. But yeah, the pressure on the enemy map is immense. Look at the tower difference. This is clearly unwinnable for them at this point. You can also solo the dragon if he feels like it. And look at the items. Unreal. They get some nice kills here. But they won't change anything if Drake's soul too. Yeah, that's just too much. And I'll get Scimitar next. So strong against them. Anyway, now I have all the damage in the world. As long as I don't get withered, no one can do anything. But the same is true for Master Yi, he just also shreds them to pieces, so this is just a hopelessly lost game for them. And despite a rather rocky early game, I mean Master Yi certainly carried, but still we were we were such a huge threat to the enemy team as well. We didn't need to be because they just die. But yeah, that's how you play Twitch. Um, stealth is a very potent tool. And for more educational content, click the link on your screen.